In this lecture, we will see how to increase the volume level or loudness of the audio. This audio was recorded in the ideal range, but it is not ideal for the final audio. Let's listen to the audio for a few seconds. Before taking this course, you must be wondering why you should learn Adobe Audition. It is a bit low volume, and we can increase the loudness using normalize effect. Normalize effect does not necessarily increase volume always. It actually sets the peak level of the audio. The current recording has a peak close to minus 6. Peak means the loudest point in the audio. On the right side, the numbers represent the volume level. As this peak is touching minus 6, its volume level will be minus 6 dB. If I normalize this audio to a higher peak level, for example minus 3, the peak will be increased by this amount. Every part of the audio, including noise will get the same amount of increase. Adobe Audition has made applying some effects easier through the Favorites menu. For this lecture, we will use the Favorites to normalize this audio. There are two Favorites to apply Normalize. Normalize to 0.1 dB will make the audio loudest. The standard practice is to apply a minus 3 dB Normalize. I will follow the standard practice and normalize to minus 3 dB. The minus 3 dB Normalize is now applied, and you can see the waveform become automatically selected after normalization. Audition has this convenient feature. If you select nothing in the waveform and apply an effect, the effect will be applied to the entire waveform. I use the minus 3 dB normalize without selecting any audio. Hence it was applied to the entire waveform. I find this method of applying an effect to the entire audio convenient. After normalize, you can see the peak is now touching minus 3 dB. The overall waveform height also grew, which means an overall increase in the volume level. Let's listen to it a bit. Before taking this course, you must be wondering why you should learn Adobe Audition. You can apply Normalize as many times as you want. Not every effect can be applied multiple times, but you can apply Normalize. However, applying the same Normalize effect back to back will have no effect on the audio. You can see from the history, Normalize is applied twice. But the overall waveform is the same after the first Normalize. If you do not understand this at this point, no worries. I will explain it again in a later lecture. The main takeaway is you have to apply a minus 3 dB normalize after recording to increase the volume level. If the volume level does not increase or decrease after normalize, there is no problem. I will explain later why that happens. For now, apply a minus 3 dB normalize after recording through the favorites menu. Practice this on your recording and move on to the next lecture. If you are watching this video on YouTube, you can pre-order this course at half price from this Buy Me A Coffee page. The course will be released on September 19th, and the price will be at least doubled on the release. If you want to learn how to produce high-quality voiceover or audiobook narration using Adobe Audition, enroll in this course.